Hello, monsters abound here, and welcome to Mermaid Colony. Down where it's wetter, down where it's better, take it from me. But it's not always better where it's wetter, because up here in Mermaid Colony, we, we have got a bit of a problem in that there's an ancient evil rising from the depths of the mountain. Oh dear. Oh well, never mind. Uh, because fortunately for these lovely ladies, fi fish, fish ladies, um, they've got me, a big strong man, to help them. That's good. So uh, I'm sat on my throne here protecting some gems. Apparently I have magic. I hope one of the spells I've got is produce more oxygen because otherwise this is going to be a very short colony game. So this is Mermaid Colony, a little uh, colony game just like Rimworld or Dwarf Fortress or there's quite a few of them around now. Uh, but this time with mermaids. Yes, and we've been building some buildings. I will say this game is quite fucking punishing. It doesn't quite have the, the sort of... Um, it's not a very difficult resource chain. But you do need all the resources pretty much from the get-go. Um, so even building basic buildings requires things that um, for buildings you might not have. And you can very quickly get into a situation where you don't have the building produce the resources to build the building. And that's a problem. Um, so maybe a little balancing issue there. I did have one game where I was actually getting quite far and then realised I had no obsidian. So there's obsidian mines here. Um, the obsidian was, I, I guess, was down in the darkness and my mermaids did not want to go down to the darkness and fucking get that. And I can't really blame them for that. But on the other hand, that meant I couldn't build stuff and so I couldn't actually get the harpoon maker to make more huntresses to keep my colony safe, which was a bit of a problem. Um, so it's it's quite a punishing game, but I'm kind of getting there in regards to sort of sort of how it flows. Um, so we've got so you know we've got a little a stone cutter, all the portraits sort of end just above the cleavage line, and uh oh, when it goes red, it's bad because that means there's an earthquake and baddies coming, and I should really have a sea dragon by now, and I do not. Uh, so let's and you can see these buildings now are slightly damaged. That's a bit of a problem. What do we need? Um, so we need someone to a uh, gem cutter. We need so what you can do. To get more mermaids, you have the priestess here. You can make more priestesses if you like. They lay eggs, and then you can hatch them into... Uh, what did I say? We need a gem, gem cutter. Gem cutter, there you go. We'll get a gem cutter. That will then sort that little problem out. Do we actually have a, do we have, do we have a stone cutter? Stone workshop. Yeah, we do. Okay, that's fine. Good, just checking. Some of the buildings can be a little bit difficult. Oh, this is, no, that's the miner's depot. That's the stone cutter there. Um, so when buildings are damaged by the earthquakes, you need to repair them. Again, that takes resources. And obviously, you know, it says it takes a, a net to repair. Well, if you want to build the um, the weaving workshop, and you don't necessarily always start with the weaving workshop, that also needs a net. And if you use all the net repairing stuff or building other buildings, then suddenly you get to a point where you can't actually build anything you can demolish these ruins they do give you resources but it's very sort of random as to what they give you so it might not actually be that um that useful um so you've got different resources on the map so you've got these uh these little uh, quartz mines those produce gems you've got the ruins there they can be demolished for some resources of obsidian, obsidian mines uh limestone mines and limestone makes stone blocks obsidian make obsidian blocks so i guess would be or just just obsidian i guess uh, so miners can mine those you have um stone workshop they can make them into blocks so they take limestone and produce stone blocks uh, the mermaids are pretty fucking slow apparently you can get the mounts later i haven't got that far um i'll be honest i'll level with you when when is our hatch gem cutter right well done the colony is growing i've got a sea dragon whoop whoop that's right so there's our sea dragon we can command the sea dragon to go and sit Sort of at the south of the colony where... Oh my god, there's a black thing. It's a kraken. Release the kraken. Fortunately, the huntress is in there getting stuck in. A um, little bit wounded, but she's fine. We'll get the sea dragon down there. Um, they are effectively your main defense against the darkness rising from the south. You can see there's little little lobbits of, um, of darkness. And things will come and sort of attack you out of there. That can cause problems. Uh, they also attack buildings and stuff. And again, if you've just built your like weaving house... And then some monster comes along and trashes it and you don't have any nets. Well, that's that's the end of your game. So, yeah. So I feel like maybe maybe there should be tiers of like, you know, you've got your base level buildings. They're pretty easy to build. And then they produce the resources for the next one, which are then slightly more. So that way you've kind of got this tier of, okay, if everything goes to pot, at least I can... At least I know I can produce the basic resources and then climb my way back up rather than, oh, I'm fucked. I better restart. But overall, I quite like this. Uh, that's, yeah, so the, the priestess can make more more eggs. Apparently, they don't need me to help. Bit of a, bit of a wasted effort, in my opinion. Um, damn the matriarchy! The 
mermaids. Uh, right, we don't have we. Oh, we do have a gem cutter, but we don't need one. What buildings do we have? Right, we don't we don't have a tool workshop. We need one of those. We need a harpoon workshop. A uh, healer workshop would be nice as well. So, um, yeah, our red algae is kind of running out. What about do we have? Right, we've got one more spot. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hatch a. No, not forester. I'm not going to hatch a forester. I'm going to hatch a. Uh, uh, farmer. F farmer. There we go. Farmer. Because um, they can go. This is not a particularly good place uh, for a farm farmhouse. The the original buildings, the initial buildings get placed randomly. I think it's probably best to have a farmhouse over here, actually. Because we're near to these geothermic vents, and uh, those will help with growth. We've got lots of space here as well, so that'd be quite good. So we're going to build a farmhouse here. Uh, do we, we don't actually have a uh, forester either. So the foresters sort of plant and chop down these kelp forests and the farmhouse um, they plant and harvest red algae, uh, mussels as well as the seagrass which is used in buildings. So again you kind of need all these stuff, all this stuff to build buildings. Some of the buildings require seagrass. If you don't have a farmer, well you're stuffed. We also need to build more uh, dwellings. So I guess we can put some of those there. We'll put one there. Small problem with uh, the, the speed of the mermaids. I guess we can speed them up a little bit like that. Um, but that can make things a little bit unmanageable because uh, monsters can just pop out of the darkness without you realising and eat one of your mermaids if you're not paying attention. Um, there is no pause button, which is a bit of a problem. I, I quite like having a pause button just to take stock and like do multiple orders at the same time. Your mermaids are quite slow. You, your haulers, you have a couple of haulers, they move things around. Now, you only have two per storage, and that, again, can be a bit of an issue because as soon as your colony gets a bit larger, you kind of need another storehouse. Um, so, in fact, I might might go for another storehouse now just because that could be potentially quite useful. Um, so, your mermaids, they have different stats. So, you've got faith. So, faith um, faith in the sea god apparently directly influences the mermaid's speed. Less faith equal. Uh oh, there's a monster. Kill it. Kill it. Sea dragon. Kill it. Is everyone okay? I think everyone's all right. I think everyone's okay. Right, good. Good. Right, so we've got farmer. Lovely. I guess we could maybe put some. Basically, red algae is really the main thing we need. So, we're going to pop some red algae down there. And we're also going to, because red algae is very much the sort of like food that we use. Um, mussels is, is useful, but not essential. It does use, well, mussels give you shells, which you then use in building. So again, yeah, they are pretty essential. Uh, so we actually would like you, you're not doing anything. Let's get some shells. Let's get some teeth. Let's get some bones and some meat would be useful as well. Let's do all of that. So your builders can be a little bit slow. Uh, is a bit of a problem. Uh, we also need more gems, don't we? So let's get you producing gems. Uh, just do it forever because more gems is always more good. So let's do that. I'm kind of going to move this farmer at some point. So I'll repeat once. I mean, I guess I guess seagrass would be... Oh, fuck it, let's just get everything. It's fine. It's fine. We'll put another farmer house here. We can plant a bunch of red algae there then. Uh, so red algae, red algae, red algae. And then we'll plant some um, seagrass down here. Something like that. I'll probably have another farmhouse down here as well to help out. That looks fine. Then we can get another... another we might demolish this one and move it over here potentially. That could be a thing, um, maybe in a bit. So we've got another dwelling, that's good. So we can have more of our mermaids. We do need, how many eggs do we have? Plenty of eggs. Let's go for a weaver, because we do need one of those. Uh, we also need a tool maker, which we don't currently have. Um, could we put a tool maker somewhere? Uh, oh crap, sea dragon, fucking. Eat it. That's it. Huntress is going to... Now, when your mermaids are startled, they drop everything. And uh, I think you lose it then. So, it's a pain in the ass. Come, sea Dragon, come down here a little bit. See if you can at least keep them off keep them off my back for ten fucking minutes. Thanks very much. Right, let's go for... We want a tool workshop because we don't have tools. We can't make the 
stuff we need to um, then make more mermaids to work more jobs. So you can see down here I've got two knives, I've got no files, I've got a saw and a pickaxe. Now if I run out of, say, uh, saws, I can't then make a forester. And I had a problem where I wanted to make a saw, I didn't have enough resources because one of the things I needed, I, I think it was kelp. I didn't have kelp because I didn't have any foresters, and I didn't have any foresters because I didn't have any saws. So, yeah. Um, sometimes you can end up in these sort of like points where you just go, well, I'm, I'm stuffed, basically. Uh, tool, none equipped. Why not? What are you? You're a weaver. What do you need? Oh, you're fetching a tool. Okay, that's fine. They, they need to go and fetch a tool before they can actually work. They're going to store them. Grab that, and then you can start making some nets. Let's make some nets. A couple of baskets, a couple of pouches, a couple of ropes. Don't know what any of that does, but you know what? There's no harm in having them just sort of like churn it out, I don't think. Um, so our weaver, hauling from minus depot. Okay, that's fine. So we've got another storeroom. I kind of do need if... Where are our builders? Oh, crap. Sea dragon. Now, these guys, the leeches are the worst ones. And you don't... I, the last game I played, I actually didn't have too much of a problem with the leeches. But um, this game, apparently, I've got a mage. Can you, can we, look, go and kill the... And they actually do attack you back, unlike some of them. Okay, good. We've managed to fend you off. Okay, come down here. It does cost us a gem, but I think we're producing enough gems, so it's not really a big problem. Um, so we're creating the storehouse. We've got a couple of buildings there, so I probably don't want to do anything else to stress my builders out. Otherwise, they just end up doing basically nothing. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a blob. There's a blob. Go over here, kill that. Um, so basically, I, I I need some more huntresses. If I can have some more huntresses, then we can basically create a defensive perimeter to hunt down any monsters any, that come near us. And I think that's basically the idea. But actually, getting the harpoons is actually quite late, which I think is why they gave you the sea dragon. Because if you didn't have the sea dragon, you'd basically be screwed. Um, and you can see it's actually taking a little while to get this. Uh, so we, we need more. What do we need more? Gems. Need more gems. Okay, so we need a gem. Uh, so the gem. So we've got quartz. We're producing gems. So we're just waiting for, for a builder, I guess, to haul it over there. Um, now, you can get mounts later on. So if we click on one of these ladies, we can see. Um, is it? No, maybe it's just the huntresses that get the mounts. Mount, there we go. So mount. Uh, breeding mounts is currently locked. Expand the colony further, raising our faith, and sea god will soon grant the ability to breed mounts. How exciting! Oh shit, that'd be useful. Really fucking useful. Let's, I guess, move you back over here, because my primary concern is defending my main colony. I just don't want any leeches getting in and eating my, my poor mermaids. It's just not the best. Let's get more meat. I mean, meat's probably fine. Oh, we need more shells. Let's get more shells. Okay, get more shells. That'll be fine. We need more kelp, uh, which we are kind of getting. Where is our farmer? Oh, you're over there farming that stuff. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So we're getting some red algae. That's okay. Red algae is good. All of our resources generally fine. Could potentially use... A bit more blocks. No material. You ha yeah, this is, this is why we need another storehouse, because the haulers eventually get overtaxed. Um, I kind of feel like maybe if you, if you could back up to four haulers for each storehouse, that would probably be more optimal. Because um, at the moment, it's it's quite a, quite a chore to actually get enough um, haulers to, to keep your colony actually moving. I had a, ten uh, had a previous game where... I was really struggling to just a lot of my a lot of my buildings were waiting for resources and my haulers were slowly transferring them across but it just took so long um so you do need those extra storehouses to keep things moving along otherwise you're, you're just going to struggle to get the resources in the place they need and a lot of your mermaids are just going to sit around just twatting about basically just dancing whenever the fucking priestess de deems to sing while the sea dragon keeps them all safe uh, the sea dragon does take damage but it can um heal up by eating Things. Oh, there's another thing down there. Oh, and another thing over there. Uh, where are you going? I think we'll, I think you'll catch. I think you'll catch him. So that's fine. Uh, so that's going fine. We're getting more dwellings up. Do we have any? Oh, we don't have space there, so I need another dwelling. Really, uh, we're building things very, very slowly. I need another gem for that. We've got four. Yeah. So currently, 
We've got six gems here, but no quartz, so we're not making any more gems, and that's because the haulers are busy doing other things. So uh, I, I would like an, like um, some way to go build this first, because I, I tend to just whack loads of stuff down at the same time. Where did that blob go? Where did that go over here? Is there a blob over there? So mermaids don't like being... Yeah, there he is. I see him. I see you sneaking around. So the mermaids don't like the dark. Uh, the, the evil monsters produce dark. And mermaids that swim into the dark lose faith. The priestess can restore faith. So basically you need your priestess to, to sing every so often just to keep everyone happy. You can build lighthouses. That will um, increase the light in the area. Coral also increases light in the area. So you can see the areas where there's no coral is quite dark. Where there's coral is quite light. Uh, thankfully our Huntress is going around killing things for us, but she is taking quite a bit of damage actually, so we probably need a healer um, outpost. So yeah, so uh, you, you kind of get overwhelmed by what you need to build. Like my Huntress is taking damage, I need to heal her, because I don't I don't have any more harpoon. I've got one harpoon. Okay, so I could build another, could build another Huntress thing. That is an option. You know what, I think my farmhouse is actually probably safer here. She can swim over there and grab things. I mean, algae is generally fine. How much stuff do we have here? One of each. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's generally okay. So I do get into... Oh, shit, this is... Right, so this needs to be repaired because its integrity is 72%. Uh, under 25. I have had buildings just collapse before. Uh oh, Kraken. And some monsters attack buildings and can destroy them very, very quickly. Uh, so the Kraken, again, won't attack the Sea Dragon or attack a Huntress, but it will attack our other mermaids. Um, I think it goes for some of the buildings as well. There we go. We can kill that off. Good. He's dead. We are still safe. So you get, quite, you get attacked quite a lot, realistically. Um, so you do need to try and keep everyone safe. Is everyone... Can we... Can, 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 we, can, we, can, we, can we finish building this, please? Yeah, haulers are being overworked again, and I didn't get a storehouse in time. So I, I feel like maybe just get a couple more haulers for the storehouse would be quite useful. Because I think with this many buildings, there's so much stuff to be hauled around, and the haulers are the only ones that do it. I feel like maybe if, if, they're, if they're out of resources, maybe the workers should go and get stuff themselves. Um, that would just like relieve the issue a little bit. Um, but we can get another storehouse, get another couple of haulers. That'll be all fine. Uh, so, I, in fact, I might hatch a hauler just in preparation for that being done. And the storehouses aren't shared, so they will have to haul stuff between the storehouses. So sometimes you'll have a problem where one storehouse has nothing. Uh, the other storehouse has, like, you know, all the stone blocks, for example. And because the haulers are busy with on that storehouse something else you know something isn't being constructed because the haulers are busy elsewhere um so that's kind of a problem i don't think they haul between the storehouse i don't know if they'll haul like a stone block to the other storehouse and then deliver it or how that works particularly but it's quite a fun little game i have thoroughly I, you know i like i like looking after my mermaids i like my colony games I, until i die and i have died a lot in mermaid colony it must be said um I actually, I've, I've reduced the, the earthquakes to the lowest amount and increased the number of um, stone blocks to the maximum amount just to make sure I get the actual stone blocks I need uh, nearby. And this is the largest play and map. I, I think you basically have to build up your colony until you get a spell, which can then defeat the evil. Apparently the sea god goes, yeah, that's enough mermaids. Now you can defeat the evil for me. And apparently that, that works. Uh, your throne can take damage, and if it's destroyed, apparently that's bad. You then lose, so you need to keep that repaired. And obviously, if you run out of resources of one type or another, then uh, that's bad as well. The, the actual sort of resource chain is, is pretty basic. It's pretty flat. You don't really need many other things to produce other things, but of what you do, you, you need them pretty quick. Um, but currently, resources are doing okay. We could use that forestry hut being constructed soon. That would be not. Where? Are, what are you doing? Building dwelling. Okay. Well, that's fine. We need more gems. We do have gems. I think most gems are no. The gems are not being. So to cast the magic, you also need gems. And currently, there's ten sea dragon costs one gem. And I've got three gems at my throne because we've got gems at the gem workshop, but it isn't being transported. 
Uh, apparently there's a couple of gems here. Ge no, there's not gems there. Yeah, I need the storehouse completed. Can we get, can we crack on with that, please? Please? P please? P what are you doing? You're building, st now you're building a storehouse. Will you, these mermaids, they're so indecisive. They're like me. What are you doing? Building Now you're building a dwelling. Okay, that seems like there's a problem. I think maybe it's because we don't have the gems and because our workers are all busy, they're not actually doing what they should be doing, which is delivering the resources to the building sites. Uh, what are you doing? You're hauling halls to storehouse. Okay. Can we not... Can, 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 can we... Can, 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 mermaids. Jesus, they're just the worst. So I think... You know, overall, pretty good. I think this game is about eight quid on Steam. And if you're looking for a nice little colony game, it's, you know, not bad. I mean, I think it could do with, you know, the mermaids could do with a little bit more. Okay, so are you taking gems? Where are you taking the gem? Hall to throw. No, that's literally... Not to the fucking throw. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the, the the mermaids could do maybe do with a little bit of, of um, pushing in the right direction. It'd be nice to have some way to, like, flag a building for priority to go... Can we just do this first, please? Because uh, at the moment, it's a bit higgledy-piggledy, and I've probably built too much, and I think it's basically... We're just waiting for gems, basically. Waiting for gems. Our gem person isn't doing anything. She doesn't have courts. There's gems in the inventory, but they're not getting hauled to the right place. So there's a lot of people not doing anything because we don't have gems. Um, so, yeah. I think maybe some more haulers would, would be a good shout. Just increase it to four, I say. Four for the small one. I think there's a big storehouse as well. Make that large, you know, eight. And then you've got lots of haulers hauling stuff all over the place, keeping your, your colony going. But this is Mermaid Colony. Pretty good. I've not actually won the game yet because I keep getting stuck in positions like this where the mermaids are just dicking about, just transferring one thing to the other, and I'm not getting anything done. But I think overall pretty good. It is sort of just been released, so I imagine there will be some updates coming to the game fairly soon. Um, so if you like colony games and mermaids, maybe give it a try. Thanks for watching.